in 84 85 they beat uh, the factory Porsches in a straight run they had more power than they did more better fuel consumption but at the moment it looks like the factory Porsche is turning the tables on them this year we've got a problem here we can't see which car it is at the moment that it looks, might be a Viper yes I think it might be the Viper I think it may be that uh, the Beretta car because that looks a little yes in fact Beretta getting out there we just saw his helmet so Olivia Beretta in trouble has he gone off the track or has he just pulled off it's a strange place to pull off that then it is isn't it yes now, this <laughs> is the start of the Porsche curves Right, and that car, remember, uh, was running in 14th position. Here we get another replay, and in fact, funnily enough, that's almost exactly where the sister car went off last night when it crashed into the wall and then oh. burst into flames. Not such a hefty accident for Olivier Beretta, but it does look as though perhaps that car's out as well. And I wonder what it is about the Porsche curves that the Chrysler Viper doesn't like. Well, Ben, this unfortunately is a similar accident to the one that the same driver Beretta had in this car at Silverstone. He went off in the wet. It wasn't his fault. Then there was a lake across the track at Silverstone. A McLaren of Sandy Grau had gone off just ahead of him. He went off, thumped the wall very heavily, and that brought the race at Silverstone to a halt it should have been stopped way before cars are allowed to crash like that so Olivia Beretta second backing into a wall in three races that won't go down too well with the team so much pressure isn't there I mean the driver you've got to this point in the race you've completed 21 hours out of a 24-hour race and then it's so easy to make a mistake like that everybody's tired it's uh, hard work out there this is one of the most testing tracks in the world Forget the fact that this is a 24-hour race. Even if it was a sprint race, it is a very, very demanding circuit, this one. And for somebody like Olivier Beretta, you can just see the disappointment as he has to walk back to his pits. The Arica team, the team he's worked with so well over the last couple of years, go back to the Chrysler people who've put so much effort into uh, this weekend to say, sorry, I made a mistake. If that's what it was, of course, we don't know for sure. He may have had a puncture or he may have had some other problem that saw him go off there. But if it was just purely driver error, what a, what a responsibility to wear. And of course, Olivier Beretta, he came to fame. He's a Monaco. He came to fame when... Nelson